The reason, because our first guest tonight is a man who has appeared, I think, in all three of them. It was all three of them, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, all three of them. And uh, he is the biggest film star that we have ever had on The James Whale Show, and we are very, very proud to present tonight, ladies and gentlemen, for your entertainment, <laughs> Mr Kenny Baker! <laughs> Kenny, thank you. thank you very much indeed, sir. Did you see my deliberate mistake? I, well, I'm tone deaf. I didn't notice it, but I don't... <laughs> I did. You did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's good. It's a vibraphone. It's a what? A vibraphone. Oh, a vibraphone. Yeah. I was going to say. Because when be you hit the notes, you see, it goes... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's why they call it a vibraphone. Kenny, thanks for coming on the programme. You were in all Star Wars movies. I was. There's talk about doing another one. Yeah. Are you going to be in it? Well, I hope so. Yeah. I'm going to San Francisco next week, meeting George Lucas in, uh, in a big convention there. You're so, presenting him with something as well. I'm going to present him with a, with a, with something, yes, in honour of his all his work for charity. You know, he's given a lot of money away for charities. Uh -huh. so, uh, I don't like to ask you this question, but I'm going to. I mean, being I that you you, uh, you you <laughs> appeared in these three huge box office movies, yes. do you make an enormous amount of money? I made uh, quite a bit of money, yes. I paid a lot of tax, <laughs> bought a new house, <laughs> bought a big Mercedes, you know, had a pool. Good, good. Every, every star should have a pool. Of course they should. Of course they should. Of course they should. So that's what I did. And then I had the tax man knocking on the door. And that's what? You're off doing cabaret around... I'm doing... I'm going to uh, America next week. I'm going to the Palm Springs on a sort of a live audition, mm -hmm. hopefully for a, a show in Palm Springs. Back, and then I'm going to Tenerife for three weeks back and then down to the Isle of Wight for the summer season. You also do quite a lot of talking about dwarfism as well, don't you? Well, I don't talk about it much. But, but you, you're prepared to sort of actually uh, address the it. issue that, yes, that people... Yes, of course. Because I was approached, oh, I don't know how long ago it was now, it must be a three or four years, to, to do a thing uh, on dwarf throwing, which I yes, thought was oh, the most terrible. tasteless thing I have ever I seen. I know, I know. I went, I went to Australia, I went to New Zealand, and we landed in Perth, and then we went across to Brisbane, to Auckland. And on the way, a lot of rugby players got on at Perth, hmm. going across to Brisbane. And I'm walking down the aisle to go to the 
men's room or something, and a guy shouts, hey, dwarf, how far do you want me to throw you? Oh. You know, and I, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, you know, so I went back and had a mm. few words with this guy, but he was fine, he was just having a, a joke with me, really. He didn't mean it nastily. Do, I mean, are people sort of embarrassed sometimes when they actually find it... Uh, They're more embarrassed than I am, yes. Yeah. It happens mainly in supermarkets with mothers and kids, you know, and the kids say, look at that little man, you know, and the mother goes, shh, be quiet, shh, and whacks them around the ear, you know. <laughs> but, uh, and all they're saying is they've said the little man, which they've seen, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. So, the, I don't, it doesn't embarrass me, but I think the mothers are t to blame, mainly. I mean, a number of, of uh, dwarf. there's a difference between dwarfs, isn't and there? Midgets. And, and midgets. Well, let's put it this way, uh, the, the, and Ronnie Corbett was nearly a dwarf, a midget. Yeah. <laughs> a midget. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, Ronnie Corbett's a small man. Right? right. If he was a bit smaller, he'd be a midget because he's perfectly in proportion. Yeah. But smaller. Yeah. And that is what a midget is, really. Perfectly as a small as a, a normal a human not, being, but not, smaller. Not dissimilar to um, yeah. Jerry Hayes. That's right. Yeah, like yeah, Jerry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but as I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit of both. I'm like in proportion with my legs and my body. Uh -huh. But my arms and my hands, I got these fingers of Walt Disney. Right. See, for, for playing dopey in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> Do you ever get depressed? Oh, last point, I don't want to leave on a low, but it's interesting. I mean, David Rappaport... Yeah, poor old David. Yeah. ...and uh, another guy, and I can't remember his name now, um, uh, Vincenzi, I can't remember, anyway. No. Uh, committed oh, yeah, suicide. Hervé Sanchez. That's right, yeah. From they, uh, Here Come the Plane. That's right. Yeah. They committed suicide. They did. Now, I don't know why. I mean, um, he was very, very deep, David. Uh, we were together with the Time Bandits. That's right. Six of us. But he was always a little bit aloof. He was an actor. We were just, as far as he was concerned, we came out of the woodwork when they wanted mm. little people, although we didn't. But that's what he gave the impression. And that he was the actor and he was one above. And he was a little bit aloof. But, I mean, he went to the States on the strength of Time Bandits and then he did L.A. Law. And he was very, very good. And I thought, he's cracked it. He's going to make a fortune in the States. There's no soap opera that has put a dwarf in yet, is well, there? Well, you see, they don't make parts for dwarfs, do they? I think they should do sometimes. It's a jolly good point. Maybe yeah. they'll watch and maybe they will do that. Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr Kenny Baker! <laughs> Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> OK, now...